there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a gold encrusted marble texture inside of Photoshop. This is an updated version of a previously recorded video. I had some sound issues with that one so I'm remaking the tutorial using a slightly different method. The results are the same, it's just a little different way of making marble textures in Photoshop. If you want to watch the other video, I'll go ahead and leave a link here and in the description so you can take a look at that video as well. Before we get started though, I want to let you know that you will need a gold texture to make this marble effect. The gold I'm using in this video is a texture I showed you how to make in a previous video. If you want to learn how to make that gold texture, I'll link that here in this video and in the description as well. So here I'm going to show you how to make two versions of this marble. The first is a simple marble with subtle veining and the second is going to be a thicker veining for the encrusted gold and I'll also show you two ways of adding color to your marble as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay we're going to start off with a new document. So we're going to come up here file new and we're using a 1000 by 1000 pixel document. We're going to change the resolution to 300 just in case you want to make digital papers out of this or um, use it somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and click create and I'm going to open up my layers panel here. I'm just going to unlock this background layer and I'm going to create two more layers on top of this. So we'll have a total of three layers. I'm going to come back here to my layer zero. Make sure here uh, your, that your foreground background color are default black and white. If they're not, you can just click on that little icon right there and that's going to take you back to default. So with this first layer, the zero layer, this one's going to be for our gold encrusting. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that. And then the other two are just going to be uh, veining for the marble. So we're just going to go ahead and apply some filters to all three of these layers. For the first one, we're going to come up to filter, render and clouds. And then we're going to come up to layer one and come back up to filter and you can see that right here we have that very last filter that we used. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to go to layer two and I'm going to do the same thing. Just click on the last one used. So now we have three different cloud textures and they're all different. So it's not the exact same thing. It wouldn't be like copying the very first layer. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure that all of these have different and distinct patterns. So we have all three of those. Now we're going to come back in here. I'm on my gold layer again. So I'm going to go to filter, render, and this time I'm going to choose difference clouds for this one. Now you're not going to see a difference because I have these other two layers on top, but we're going to do the exact same thing to these. We're going to come up to filter and use that last filter that we just used, the difference clouds. And again, layer two, filter, and then the last one used, difference clouds. So this is what we're going to have on all three layers. Of course, the pattern will be different on all three. Okay, starting with this top layer right here, on your keyboard, you'll press Command and the letter L, or Control on a PC and the letter L, and that's going to bring up your levels. For the levels, all we're going to do is take the highlights and drag it over here to the beginning of this curve and we're going to move the midtones all the way over here to the shadows and just butt it up with the uh, shadows right here. So you'll have these directly next to each other and then you're going to have this one just starting at the, the curve here. So I'm going to click OK. That's going to be our first. I'm going to turn that off just so you can see the second one. Again, Command and the letter L for this layer one and we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to bring this to the edge right here of the curve and then I'm taking my midtones all the way over to my shadows. So these two are butted up and this one is at the beginning there and we're going to click OK. So we have these two layers. Now let me turn that one off. This is going to be for the gold so we want a little bit thicker veining for this one. So again command the letter L and with this one, we're going to start the same way. We're going to just bring uh, this right here to the edge of that curve. I'm going to bring my shadows out a little bit to like three or four. So you can see when I do that, the, the veining here is just a little bit thicker. 
I'm going to bring this and butt it up against the shadows and you can see uh, when I move it how how you can control the thickness of the veining so I want thicker veining because I want that gold to show up so the the more you move that shadow over to the right the thicker that veining is going to be so I'm going to go ahead and leave mine at four and then just go ahead and click OK so this is our gold I'm going to turn that off for now and I'm going to turn these two on we're going to make our simple marble first so this layer right here layer one that's going to be the base of our simple marble so we're going to leave that alone and we're going to come up to layer two and we're just going to change the mode of this layer to soft light so I'm going to take this base layer and duplicate it so I'm going to right click duplicate this layer you can name it anything you want I'm just going to leave it layer one copy and I'm going to change the blend mode of this one to screen I'm going to go to edit transform and turn that okay so let's go ahead and add some color to this I'm going to come down here and choose gradient map I'm going to click right here on the color bar and when you're working with the gradient map this part right here on the left is going to control the color in the veining and then this side is going to control the color everywhere else um, say you want it to be maybe like a blue color and the darker the better you still want that blue color but you want it to be as dark as possible in those areas and I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to come over here to this side I'm going to choose a blue color but it's going to be almost white so it's going to be very subtle and very light so I'm going to click OK and OK again from here I just want to show you quickly how to turn this into a seamless pattern so what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the bottom layer selected layer one I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to grab that top layer so I have all four of these layers selected and I'm going to press shift option command the letter E that's shift option command and the letter E so that's just going to merge all of the layers that I had selected into one layer right here I'm going to turn all of these off and I'm going to use this to create a seamless pattern so I'm going to come up here to filter make sure that that layer is selected and I'll come up to filter other offset now this is a 1000 by 1000 pixel document so we'll just have to go half size it's 500 pixels horizontal 500 pixels vertical make sure that wrap around is selected and you'll press OK what we want to do is get rid of these seams right here and in order to do that we'll have to use the clone stamp tool that's this little icon right here the clone stamp tool make sure that layer is selected the brush that you use is going to be really important you need to use a super soft let me bring this in here so you can see it so I am in legacy brushes I'm in default brushes and I'm using this one soft round with pressure um, because I'm using a tablet you can use just a, a soft round but it has to be a very soft brush if you use a hard brush you're going to get a lot of harsh lines in here and then you're going to come in and make a selection I'm going to make this a little bit bigger I have it at 70 pixels I'm going to press the option key on the keyboard you're going to see that little target right there this is going to be alt on your PC so we'll just select uh, right around here is fine make sure that you don't go too close to the edge and then just paint it out I'm going to select from there as I get closer to the edge here again another selection and then just paint out those lines another selection just be careful when you start getting toward the edges and if you start seeing things repeating like you do right here you can just you know cover that up that's basically all you have to do for the repeating pattern you can come back in and test it we'll do another offset and then you can see that we still have some edges right here maybe well just this one right here so you can just fix these edges save it as a pattern and it will be a seamless pattern that will repeat across a larger canvas
Okay, now I want to show you how to create the gold encrusted marble. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to get rid of the gradient and I'm going to get rid of layer one and layer two. So we're left here with our gold, which is the one that we created with the super thick veining. And we're also left with layer two. This is the layer set to soft light. So gold and layer two set to soft light. These two layers are going to make up our gold encrusted marble. So we're going to come here with this gold layer selected. We're going to come up to select color range and we're going to make a selection of the shadows. So you might have yours at sampled color. That's usually the default. Um, you can just go to the drop down menu, choose shadows there. Our fuzziness we're going to leave at 20% and the range is going to depend on the pattern that you're using. So if you go too far, you'll start to see these little speckles. That means that you need to move back. So I'll leave mine right about 50 and I'm going to click OK. So that's going to make a selection of all these dark colors here. Now I'm going to come down here and add a new layer. I'm going to put this layer above the others and I'm going to use uh, this selection right here to fill this layer with this color. I'm going to press command and delete on my keyboard, control and backspace if you're on a PC and that's going to fill that selected area with that white color, command and the letter D to deselect, control and the letter D on a PC. So this color, whatever color you fill it with doesn't really matter because we're going to add a pattern to this. So I'm going to go ahead and double click right here on the far right hand side to bring up my layer styles and I'm going to come here to pattern. So this is the pattern that I'm using and like I said before, if you want to learn how to make this particular pattern, um, I do have a link in the description for you. From here, you can make adjustments to the size of the gold. This is at 100%. It's a little bit too much for me. So I'm bringing that back down. You can you can bring it down to 25%. It's going to be much a much finer gold uh, or 50% and it's kind of somewhere in between. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow as well. I'm going to change. I'm, I'm going to leave the blend mode at multiply, but I'm going to change the color to just a dark brown color. Opacity I'm leaving at 20%. Our distance I'm going to bring down to 2. Our size I'm going to bring down to 2 as well. So I'm just trying to create some depth here but very subtle. So you can see how I mean it's there but it's very very subtle. And I'm going to click OK. OK, now for adding color here. So I showed you one way to do it with the gradient map. For this one, I'm going to show you a different method. So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. Now you can see that I have the Hue and Saturation layer here, but it's not the color is not showing up here. So in order to make that show up, you need to make sure that you click on Colorize. That's going to add the color to your pattern. And also the color is changing the actual color of my gold as well. If you don't want that, you can just bring this underneath the gold. So we'll have the gold contrast and then um, the color underneath. From this point, you can just work with the hue and saturation to get a color that you like. You can lighten this up quite a bit or saturate the color. One other thing that I do a lot is to take this hue and saturation layer and clip that to this layer two right here. Then I'll bring up my saturation quite a bit and you can see that I'm getting a lot of color variation here. I think that this looks much more realistic and it's just an, an interesting look for me when I'm bringing up my saturation a lot. And I just love this look right here where you're getting the blue, but you're also getting some of that darker color in there. That's just an option. So you can get a lot of different looks with just this hue and saturation color. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.